Monitor your air quality with this tiny little cube. Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here and I'm spending a lot of time in my home right now, but generally speaking, I'm always trying to have the cleanest air quality I can. Now, I'm in the worst room in the house for that because I'm in the kitchen and there's a lot of particulate matter that floats around from cooking, from burning things. We won't talk about that, <laughs> but suffice to say, you know, our lungs work, our body works best when we have something filtering out all of the big pieces. So having an air quality monitor is actually pretty darn smart. It gives you a lot of data about what's going on in your home or your office or your workplace or your RV, wherever you want to do this. You could actually take something like this to your favorite coffee shop and you could actually just put this down on the table and not really make a big deal out of it and then see, is all that secondhand smoke actually a problem? So all of that you can figure out and more with this. This, I really like it. It's the iClever Portable Indoor Air Quality Monitor model ICCWA1W. So we won't mention the model name again, I promise. <laughs> so basically what it does is it has sensors on both sides and it pulls just the tiniest amount of air in through various sensors. And then it tries to identify, or I should say it does identify how much particulate matter you have based on different sizes of particles. This is very much like an environmental protection agency see this is how you measure air quality as you look at particulate matter. Now, this also tracks temperature and humidity, but primarily it's looking at three sizes of particulate matter. It's doing PM10, PM2.5, and PM1.0. What's that number? Well, the PM is particulate matter and the number is microns. So it starts, the biggest particles it's looking at are 10 microns. For the record, if I pluck out a human hair and I look at a cross section, that is 50 microns on average. Our hair might vary slightly, but 50 microns. And that's, we can only see down to 40 microns. This thing starts at 10 microns, all that like dust and pollens and all the stuff that can get in the air then gets into our lungs and then when it's small enough can get into our bloodstream and that's where you really start to get problems. So let's talk about this. So the primary number it shows on this display and here's a close up so you can really see what's going on here. The primary number is the PM 2.5. And that's because that's considered the most dangerous particle size. That's what you get from cooking, from smoking. We're gonna do a little test with a candle. You'll see exactly how that works. So you see the smoke, but you don't have a sense that, oh my gosh, that's like particles, right? There's actually bits in there, but there are. And that's why this is so dangerous. So it's also measuring PM 10, which is 10 microns. And those are still inhalable particles. So they're not great for you but it's really the 2.5 microns and that's really the magic number and that's what the EPA and all the like um, office and um, workplace health and safety that's really what they're measuring and that's really considered most dangerous particularly for people with like lung ailments or asthma or if you have allergies obviously so I have super low numbers I just want to say this up front because we run air um, purifiers throughout my house so at any given time I have at least three air purifiers at different places in the house all pushing through air and getting rid of all that particulate matter now I might not look at the filter and say wow it's really dirty you know because it's smaller than I can perceive with my eyes but it's clearly doing a great job when you look at this and you see all of my readings are zero that's pretty atypical right and then let's get down to the PM 1.0 and these are the really major problems because those can be absorbed into the bloodstream they're so small that is 1 50th so you could stack 50 of those up and that would be the diameter of a human hair that's pretty small now I know what you're thinking oh well will this take airborne viruses 
Well, no. Viruses come in different sizes, but the coronavirus, as far as I can tell, is about 0.125 microns, according to the research I've read. So that makes it, what, about one-eighth of the micron. So <laughs> this does not go down to that level, nor uh, do I think that you actually want to have this thing telling you, yes, there are viruses in the air. That would be even more anxiety-provoking. But super easy to work with. You can see it has a nice, clean display, but I want to bring your attention to the bottom. The bottom you can just leave and it's just a nice easy color sensor. If it's green you have good air quality. If it's yellow you're having some questions about air quality and if it turns red you got a problem you need to open some windows, turn on some fans, leave the area and particularly if you're elderly or have any lung issues or anything that's a problem. You really want to address that. So it is battery powered, sort of. So it actually powers with a micro USB connection. The box, of course, has a micro USB cable. You really want to leave it plugged in because the battery only lasts four hours. Frankly, I'm not really sure why they did that at all because really, if it's only four hours, even if you just leave it on overnight, it's going to run out of battery about halfway through your sleep. Hopefully you're sleeping eight hours, right? So, you know, a useful feature. It might be nice if you want to take it to your office and just turn it on and off. There's a button right on the front. Super easy to work with. Um, but generally, that four-hour battery life, eh. Now, where it gets way more interesting is there's an app. So, it works with an app called Smart Life. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and record what's on my phone screen because this is going to make it way more fun when I light this candle. So on the um, app, it actually works with all the different iClever programs and devices and everything. So here's our scanner. It actually doesn't come up as the portable indoor air quality monitor. It's just the PM 2.5, whatever. So here's my current readings. And let's see, outside, I can see that it's um, zero particulate matter. We have good air quality. That's nice. Um, temperature's 40. My indoor temperature 77. My humidity is pretty darn low at 18%. Colorado in the winter, that's what we get. But all my particulate matter is super low. Now, they do have a graph where you can see historical data, but as you can see, it needs a little TLC. I think that they, you know, have this, and this is showing us basically four months worth of data, but honestly, I haven't had the device for four months. So it's kind of frustrating and hard to understand. Um, so I like the app because once you hook this up to your Wi-Fi, you can check air quality at any time. So you could, for example, put this in your storehouse at your office, or you could put it in the kitchen at your restaurant and then just leave it plugged in and stuck in a corner. And then at any time you can jump on and you can just double check, hey, how's my air quality? But all that's fun and good, right? It's fun to know all the numbers, but seriously, let's test it. So I'm going to light a candle and then we're gonna, first off, these matches, you see all that smoke? That is not good for you. So let's just put this over here and you can watch and you see it's starting to register numbers and watch the bottom color because it will gradually get to be pretty darn unhealthy. Let's just do that and let it smoke. So it's getting up there. So we have basically when we see the smoke coming off a match, we're thinking, oh, that's cool. I kind of like that smell. But what's really happening is we're getting particulate matter. So I'm going to get rid of the match. Now we have our candle. Now let's see if we can get the candle to register higher. Um, when I was experimentally testing with this, <laughs> I got it up to 999 ppm and it was not happy about that. Let's see. I'm not getting much of a reading here. Let's do this. Let's blow it out and let's get that smoke and let's see what that does. You can see the smoke coming around the device. How cool is that, right? There we go. Look at all that. That is not good smoke to breathe. That is not healthy. And we see this as a smoke, as a vapor, but it's particulate matter. And you can see the bottom now is red. This is basically the device saying, Woo, you do not want to be breathing that air. That is not healthy for you. And of course, the real point to this is it works. It actually is giving us an air register. And now watch. 
Now that the candle's further away and I'm getting rid of that smoky air, you'll be able to see the particulate matter count is going down. And notice that different size particles have different numbers because the smoke isn't just one size of particle. I didn't even know this, right? It's super interesting. So that's really how this thing works. And let me go ahead and we'll just let this thing continue to run until it gets back to zero, hopefully. Um, and I hope you can see on the bottom, the, num the color keeps changing as it's getting, the air quality is getting better again. You know, this is a really, really slick little device. It's very good, very well designed. I'm a big fan of iClever. They make a lot of really good gadgets. You can use it standalone, but I think it's way more interesting to hook it up to the app because again, that gives you remote access. So that becomes much more interesting. Put this in the baby's room and at any point, even if you're away, even if like they're with the babysitter or something, you can quick check and see what's the air quality in the baby's room because the baby's been having a lot of asthma or breathing problems in the last few days, right? Ah, looks like we have something we need to address. So all of that you can get from this device and I can see my air quality is down to 20. 18 so it's getting back to zero very cool so only thing left to talk about is the price but before we get to the price i'm going to ask if you can subscribe to my channel i get a lot of gear from a lot of companies and i will tell you the straight scoop i will tell you what's good and what's not so good with this particular device I really like just about everything. I don't really get why they have a four hour battery in here, whatever, but you know, the app is really cool for live monitoring and not so good for looking at historical trends, but that's something they can easily fix. So hopefully the next rev will have a much better analytics side to it. Cause I think that's pretty interesting. Like what's the time and temperature over the last 24 hours? And is there any correlation with particulate matter in the air and the temperature going up or down? I don't know. That would indicate, for example, that your furnace is pushing out particles even as it's heating up the house. Wouldn't that be good to know, right? So all of that's going to come. Please subscribe. There's a little button you click or tap and that's it. And now we're connected forever or at least for a while. <laughs> but I push out a lot of videos. So please stay tuned. I got lots of fun stuff and I got lots of fun gear just waiting to be reviewed right now too. Great. So all that's left to talk about, look at that, down to seven. I'm getting back to a really good air quality, right? So all that's left to talk about is the price. This is the iClever Portable Indoor Air Quality Monitor, and it is $99.99 at Amazon.com. And if you're curious about your air quality at work, in your warehouse, in your storage room, in the basement, in the baby's room, in grandma's house, in your car, <laughs> wherever you want to use this thing. It's super cool. I am actually a big fan and we're going to leave this thing plugged in and watching our air. So with that, I'll catch you in my next video.